Hello folks, welcome. Today we're going to discuss the concept of rite of passage. Arnold van Gennep introduced the concept of rites of passage, which is a term for a ritual that marks a person's passage from one identity or status to another. You can maybe have experienced this in your own life, maybe at a wedding, where two single individuals become a married couple. Now, a rite of passage does mark when somebody moves from one identity to another. And it's sometimes hard to understand because we lack rites of passage in the United States of America. Now, in order to better understand this, another anthropologist, Victor Turner, developed this idea of the three stages of a rite of passage. That is the separation stage, which is where you are separated from your previous identity, the liminal stage, in which you are becoming something else, right? They call this period the transition period because you are transitioning into your new identity. And then the incorporation stage where you will actually uh, be reintegrated into society right? as, with, <clears throat> as a, a new person with a new identity. Right now, to better understand this concept, right, what I want you all to do is to develop your own rite of passage, right? So think about uh, somebody that you admire, that you respect, that you look up to, and think about what are the qualities that you admire about this person? Are they kind? Are they strong, assertive, mean, right, aloof, right? Now, once you have your concepts, please write them down, please write them down, and think about why these qualities are important. And as we have discussed with other groups in our reading, a rite of passage usually includes some type of ceremony or ritual. Uh, a good example would be boot camp in the military, where someone is separated from their previous identity. They transition into, uh, or they're being formed into a soldier. Then they're incorporated with an elaborate ceremony or they are brought back to society and they are now something else, a soldier, right? Now, what I want you to do is think about what are some of the transitional period the transitional rituals that you can think of that can instill some of your, these qualities that you feel are ideal in a adult human being, right? So let's just say if you picked uh, sociocentric, right? Or if they um, are family oriented, one way that you can actually think about this is to think um, how you can instill this concept in a ritual. Now, for example, you can have somebody walk through the desert, right, while carrying uh, the cherished items of many family members, right? And their task is to have all of these cherished items pass through a voyage intact. Right, so if you want, what I'd like you to do is to develop your own rite of passage and think about the following things. How are you going to separate right, your, uh, the initiate, right? How are you going to separate this person into their new identity? Second, think about the transition stage. What will the participant experience to instill the qualities you described that would aid in the development of morality, culture, and values of the participant? Lastly, think about the incorporation stage and how you will incorporate or bring back this individual to society. By the time you're done with this, you should have a, a very good understanding of what a rite of passage is and the three stages of rite of passage. Wicked, 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 wicked.